What's up YouTube? Today we're going to do a quick demo of a project that I've been working on that's a really interesting combination of the normal NeoVim open source stuff that I work on plus some open source stuff from Sourcegraph, which is my day job. But because we're going to do it slightly differently today, I do feel like I need to put on my work hat. Ah, that's much better. Let's hop right in. So if you don't know what Sourcegraph is, the short answer is it's a code intelligence platform that lets you quickly search and navigate through code. But I hope to show you a few things that are exciting that we can already do inside of NeoVim, even though the plugin's more of sort of at an alpha state today. So suppose what you're doing is you're looking for a file and you're just reading through this Go file. And you look at the file and you say, I'm wondering where this thing is called. So we can click find references and we can look around and see that. And we can see some documentation and more. But there seems to be a problem. The problem is you're a NeoVim user. You can't just touch the mouse all day. And you know you're a bit disgusted with yourself being in the browser? But fortunately, SGNVim comes in to save the day. All you need to do is copy the URL from your browser, open up NeoVim, and type edit and then that link. And you'll immediately go to that same file that you were viewing inside of Sourcegraph moments before. We haven't cloned the directory. We haven't done any expensive operations. And there's no go please language server running right now to provide code intelligence. Yet what we can do is we can still actually do many of the different same kinds of experiences that we had while we were looking in the browser. For example, we can do that same go to references just like we did in the browser. And then we can even fuzzy find using telescope right on top of these to do something like allowed. We press enter, we go to the reference. If we want to go back to the definition, then all we need to do is press GD just like you would for your normal LSP experience and you hop back even though that's across files. Not only can we navigate between the different functions and definitions and references, we can also read the documentation so if you use in NeoVim, generally this is shift K for the hover in LSP, you can see that, oh, this tells me about what this current field is, what it expects and what it returns. Even for remote interfaces or structs, we can do exactly the same thing and view what the documentation is, even though that is defined by the standard library outside of this project. This code intelligence isn't just limited though to the current project that you're in. We can jump between projects using Sourcegraph. For example, right now, we're in a project called skip Java, which is one of our indexers for Java. This indexer is actually primarily written in Scala. Scala runs on the JVM. So Java and Scala code run seamlessly together. However, they're not the same language. And so you'd think perhaps you wouldn't be able to jump to the definition of this built in function in Java, but you'd be wrong. We can press go to definition and hop between the files. And you'll notice now we've moved from a Scala file into Java, not only between those languages, but between different projects. All this is supported right out of the box in SGNVim. And as code intelligence improves on our cloud platform, you'll also get that same improvement here inside of NeoVim. But suppose you wanna explore a project a little bit more. There's two primary ways that we can do that right now. The first is that I've included a very simple, but quite effective file explorer inside of SGNVim. So if we do something like edit the directory that something is in, so I've just moved up from source lib to my source folder, or I could hop one directory higher, and then I'd look at crate slash format, and I could even jump one directory higher, and I see each of the crates that I have inside of this Rust project. Rust, by the way. But we can press tab to expand the different files and see what potentially is inside of each of these different folders so that we can explore the project a little bit more file tree-esque without having to navigate away from where we are and to see the context of the different files that we're in. If we press enter, we'll jump right into that file and have the same experience that we were having before. Once again, remember, none of these files are being cloned or repos being cloned or LSP started. This is all just using Sourcegraph's available and public API. The last thing that I want to show is how you can use Sourcegraph search even from within NeoVim. So I've mapped search to um, a key map, but you can find information about how to map this for yourself on the SGN Vim repo. If we want to search something, which you'll see in this bottom right corner, something like pub function nvim, this will search 
all the repos on Sourcegraph for different things where you see that text pub function and vim and you can press enter and you'll go to wherever that's defined. Once again, I just want to reiterate, this is not cloning them. This is just pulling down the file contents from Sourcegraph. Additionally, we also support things like symbol search. So if we do the same search, but instead we look for type symbol and then we say nvim, this will show us a list of various different places that nvim is a symbol somewhere in a repo that Sourcegraph has indexed. So if what we wanted to look for is things that have nvim and emitter inside of them, we can do that and jump straight to the definition. If we want to resume the last search, you can use that with telescope by doing telescope resume and pick up right where you left off and maybe instead of emitter, you want to look for something with from, you can hop to that definition and keep on going between them. And that's the current status of the project. I'm sure if you tried it out today, you're going to experience some bugs, but if you'd like to try it and you're willing to file an issue, head to the repo in the description of this video to check it out. Let me know what you think. I'm really excited to get your thoughts, to get your feedback, and to see if it works on more computers than just my machine right now. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick demo video. And if you'd like more or more features or whatever, just let me know in the comments. I always like reading them and I'll be replying there. Thanks everybody. I'll see you later.